survived a workout that wasn't very hard, but I was really sick last week. And I'm just recovering still, I'm still about 80%, but all the last week I didn't lift any weights, do any cardio, do any Muay Thai or anything like that. And so this week is my first workout back and it felt like I took a forced deload. I didn't really feel energized. I was still surprised with squats. Like squats is, you know, I just I, I just suck at it. But I was able to move 365 pretty good. I still did the back offsets, 3x5, 315. And so I was able to finish the workout and I'm really, really happy about that. Because uh, I have a new plan, a new focus for the next three or six months. This is already a great start. I want to get my squat back up to around 450-ish, but still maintain the leanness that I am, and also increase the skills that I have in martial arts. So to, today was just like the first stepping stone and really getting over that initial sick hump and that first workout back. I think it's really important to have one overarching goal, like one three to six month goal, because it's really easy to have a bad sleep day, get in a car accident, boyfriend, girlfriend breaks up with you, and then you just get clouded by like the mud of what is life. And you're like, wait, why the fuck am I even in here? Is lifting that important? Like, and you're like, man, fuck this shit. And it's easy to get demotivated. Which is why I like to have that overarching goal. So before I even program and before I just jump straight into it, I write down, okay, in the next three to six months, what am I trying to accomplish? And so that way, anytime you get hit with the cloud and fog of life, you know, you still know why you're in here. So for example, for me, I was really focused on getting my hips better. I did a lot of kettlebell swings in my last cycle to get better at kicks, to move better and not be so stiff. But what I suffered is I took a break on squatting a lot. So my squats are really weak right now. Uh, my overall strength is pretty low. My conditioning is way better. So before I even start programming, for this next three to six months, I wrote down my number one priority is bodybuilding. Because of all the conditioning that I've been doing and losing weight, I haven't really had that much hypertrophy. So my muscles look kind of flat. Like I was just looking at pictures of when I was 186 now and when I was 183 before and the fullness in 183 was popping. So okay, number one priority is bodybuilding. Number two, I wanna get my strength back up. So I'm gonna start squatting three times a week, kind of like Bulgarian style a little bit. And then my third priority is I wanna become even more athletic. Uh, not athletic as in like doing box jumps and crazy shit like that, but things that are very specific to my needs. So I wanna get into grappling again and my body and my core coordination kinda sucks. So I'm gonna start doing a bunch of turf work, like what the rope ran me through at least once a week. So like duck walks, uh, bear crawls, uh, bouncing little baby hops, like all that stuff to kinda get my core and my body way more coordinated so I can be better at grappling and fight sports. So once I have those three overarching goals, then when I program, everything is kind of like a pillar to support that goal. So that's what, that's the reason why like, when fools come in, like, like let's say we have a West Side trainer or some super dope Shaco coach comes in and they go, yo, try this new exercise. It's really hard to sway me. I know what I want to do and it's like a rock. I'm like, hey, that's dope that LeBron James does this to get his hops higher but I'm not trying to get my hops higher. I'm trying to accomplish these goals in the next three to six months, so it's really hard to sway me. And so on the flip side, of the fog and cloud of life is also hard to sway me. And I think for me, that's what worked for me, is knowing what I want to accomplish and don't let spur of the moment things, whether it's a breakup or whether it's a new friend in town, kind of like pull you away from the goal. But so you'll see my workouts will reflect those three things and I'll probably be crying and screaming like David and fucking crying like a little bitch on the turf day, but I know why I'm gonna be doing it and uh, I'll be able to push through, just like I pushed through today. Today was a strength day. Everything was pretty much five reps with the back down set of 10 at the end. And it was hard, like I haven't hit anything heavy like that in a while, but it felt really good to get through it. So uh, I'm excited to see what I look like and what I'm able to accomplish in the next three to six months. Oh, I forgot the D8. I never see someone laugh so hard about something they forgot. Like, oh, didn't pick up the kids from school. Oh. oh.
Gangsters are so funny, dude. That's how you know they're gangster. <laughs> they laugh about shit they shouldn't be laughing at. Like, oh, didn't pay my taxes. Oh. So this is what I like to do before I write out my actual programs on paper. I like physical things so I can like make marks and stuff. But uh, I only have three lifting days, so I break them down now for the next three to six months. A strength day, bodybuilding day, and a more athletic day. Uh, so today is strength. And I uh, still got overhead press, Henley rows, and then some sled. Almost done, almost there. So today is a overall just a strength day, really. Uh, and when I'm, when I'm talking about strength, I'm not talking about powerlifting specific, just overall bodily strength, kind of going back to the fundamentals and the basics. And uh, so I did a squat, uh, I did one rep max at like an RP 7-8. And then I did a back offset 315, three sets of five, and then another back offset of 10 reps at 135. I was supposed to do 225, but I know since I'm sick, if I do that, I'll win the fuck out of me and the rest of the workout would just be horrible. So I kind of had to do some self coaching. Then I did bench, did a single at 275, three by five at 245, and then a close grip at 135 for 10 reps. And then I did overhead press, which I haven't done in like a year, so my shoulders are fucking weak. And I did just 135, three sets of five. I'll slowly build that up. It's pretty embarrassing, but I gotta do what I gotta do. And then I did a back off set of 10 with 95, and then I did bent over row. So I hit pretty much lower. I hit a horizontal press, a vertical press, and then I hit a row, which is back. And I did 185, three sets of five, and a back off set with 95 for 10 reps. Then after that, cardio for my strength day. I like to keep it explosive and powerful, so I did the sled. So you'll see, because I have such a hyper focus on the day of that training, everything is gonna be geared towards that. And because today is strength, even my cardio is strength-based. Thank you guys for following watching uh, i know black friday is over and a lot of you guys have been reading the comments and like fuck i couldn't get this i couldn't get that so what we're gonna try to do is open very specific things up for pre-order so everyone can get what they want in their size without question so make sure you stay tuned on our instagram barbell brigade and my instagram barquan to see these updates because like stuff like this i think we had over 500 emails Asking about when is this coming back and that's just email so I'm sure there was like thousands of comments so we want to make sure we can get everyone what they want hopefully at least your order in before Christmas you're probably gonna get your order after New Year's that's just the way these factories work everyone like goes to sleep and no one wants to do anything during that time that's not our fault but we're gonna try really hard to get what everyone wants so stay tuned for that if you haven't signed up for our Bottle Brigade email, make sure you do that to stay updated on all the latest news. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Peace.